Hey guys, Ash here from GusForward.com and in this video we're gonna go ahead and see how to flash the latest leaked Jelly Bean 4.2.1 uh, firmware onto your Galaxy S3 i9-300. Uh, there are two options here guys. If your Galaxy S3 is rooted and you have a custom recovery like Clockwork Mod recovery installed on it, then go ahead and uh, hit this part of the video. Alright, uh, the exact uh, time that you need to jump to is also annotated onto the video. Uh, it's there in the background. I can just click to my right. Or if you don't know what rooting is, or if your phone is not rooted and you just want to flash the latest leak, hit this part of the video. All right. So uh, the video is going to pause at this point of time, and you guys need to make a choice. If you wanna, I mean, if you're already rooted and uh, you wanna flash the rooted version of the leaked firmware, click here. And if you're unrooted and you just want to flash the leaked Jelly Bean 4.2.1, click here. So just keep in mind that it is the leaked 4.2.1 and uh, so do expect a few bugs. Uh, my, the link to my video on you know, a full review of this leaked firmware, uh, what new features it brings to the Galaxy S3 and what kind of bugs, if there are any uh, big ones, I'll, make sure, uh, I'll, uh, I'll mention it in that video. So the link to that video is there in the description, so go ahead. Click that, check that out before you want before you go ahead and flash this phone if you want to do that. So here goes. Make a choice. So guys, in case you have a Galaxy uh, S3 that is unrooted or uh, you just want to upgrade to uh, the latest uh, leaked Android 4.2.1 uh, firmware without root access, then this is the procedure that you need to follow. Hit the link one from the description and uh, that will get you this file. Just download it and uh, right click and extract it. All right. And before you do this, guys, make sure you have Samsung keys installed. Uh, you can download Samsung keys from again from the link in the description. Just make sure you ins you have it installed. Uh, Samsung keys uh, shouldn't be running, uh, but it needs to be installed in the system. All right. So once you have this file extracted, you'll get two files here. One is a .tar.md5 file. Another one is Odin 3 v 3.04.zip. Now extract it again, the Odin. So here you get Odin 3 v 3.04.exe. That is the one we need. And you also uh, have the .tar.md5 file from the previous extraction. So right now on your Galaxy S3, uh, no matter if you're rooted or if, you're, if you've never rooted your phone, just go ahead, hold down volume, power, and home at the same time. All right. Just keep holding it. This method works no matter what firmware you're on currently. And now head volume up to continue. All right. So right now, just connect your Galaxy S3 to the PC with the micro USB cable and leave it as it is. So guys, uh, before you do this, just make sure that you back up uh, any data that you want to. If everything goes well, we shouldn't be losing any data. But then again, uh, it's always a better to be safe. So uh, just make sure you back up whatever you want before you continue. All right, so right now, uh, right click on Odin 3v3.04.exe, hit run as administrator. And now click PDA. And now we get to wherever it is that you have this .tar.md5 file. So there you go. And right now, make sure that a repartition, flash lock, and LED control are not checked, and it's just auto reboot and f.reset reset time that are checked. Uh, so, guys, if you have uh, Samsung keys installed and you have the drivers configured properly, this will turn blue. So, if it doesn't turn blue, or if you don't see anything displayed over here, just make sure that you install Samsung keys again, reboot the PC and continue. So let's just hit start. So this will take a few minutes. Just wait for it, wait for the procedure to complete. So here we go guys, once you see pass displayed on screen, you can just go ahead and unplug your Galaxy S3 and you will now put up uh, into the leaked Android 4.2.1 so just give it a few seconds 
So guys, at this point, if you guys run into any issues and if for some reason you're not, you're not able to boot, then you need to hold the up volume, power and home buttons continuously till you see Samsung Galaxy S3 displayed on screen. And once you see that, you can let it go and that'll take you to Android system recovery. Over there, you need to select wipe data factory reset and that should let you boot right back up. So uh, most of you should be able to boot back up without any issues at all. But in case, worst case scenario, if you get uh, stuck in a boot loop, that is what you need to do. A volume home and power, get into Android system recovery, do a wipe data factory reset and hit reboot. But anyway, we are, we are back up here. All right, so that is the uh, revamped lock screen. So just to show you guys, heading on into settings. Guys, this is a leaked firmware, so there are uh, some bugs to be expected. I will, uh, I will be doing a full review of uh, what's new with this firmware and if there are any major bugs so stay subscribed uh, and I'll be coming out of the video soon so just a moment so there you see that's Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean so guys if you wanna flash the rooted uh, leaked Jelly Bean 4.2.1 ROM onto your Galaxy S3 and you have an a, a, you already have a rooted Galaxy S3 i9300 with custom recovery this is what you need to do from link one in the download section just go ahead and uh, download the file from there and trans uh, once you've downloaded the file transfer to the internal or external memories of your Galaxy S3 and once you've done that go ahead hold up volume power and home at the same time just keep holding it guys this uh, this works from pretty much any firmware and you, uh, you can let the keys go once you see Samsung Galaxy S3 displayed on screen so like I was saying uh, this procedure works from any firmware that you're on alright so right now go ahead select install zip from SD card choose zip from SD if you have an external SD or choose, choose zip from internal SD if you have it on your phone memory like I do and this is the file i9300 xxu fmb3 dx.zip select it and hit yes install so this will take a few minutes to complete so just uh, wait for it to complete and uh, thanks to androidgalaxy.cu.cc for this rooted ROM Alright guys, we're done here, so uh, right now we can just hit go back and hit reboot system now. So guys, at this point, if you run into any issues, if you get caught in a boot loop, uh, that is, if your phone doesn't boot up for about 5 minutes at max, just again hold up volume, power and the home buttons at the same time, go back into recovery, do a factory wipe, that is a wipe data slash factory reset, wipe cache and go into advanced and do a wipe Dalvi cache and reboot and you should boot back up fine all right guys we are up here as you can see that's the android 4.2.1 lock screen it's just going into uh, settings about device and i see it android 4.2.1 jelly bean so that's pretty much it guys for flashing the leak 4.2.1 firmware onto your galaxy s3 i9300 I so go ahead, let me know uh, what you think about this firmware, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Uh, and if you guys run into any issues, uh, if there's anything technical that you want help on, you can hit us up at cursforward.com slash forums, the link's in the description. And again, for the full written instructions, head on over to cursforward.com. And before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons, guys. So that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you guys do want to help me out, use my links to Amazon from the description. Every time you, if there's anything that you guys want to order online, just go through Amazon via my links and every time you guys place an order, I tend to make a few cents or a few bucks. So that is if you guys do want to help me out. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Before you go, again, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. Uh, and I'll see you guys soon with more videos. Till then, it's Ash from signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.